So as the works continue on the tramway um, to the right of me, we're walking down a different corridor to um, Wolverhampton bus station. We're back in West Midlands, um, back in the West Midlands for another video. This video, like the last one that we did, focusing on the West Midlands, we focused on a lot of the um, National Express older vehicles, primarily because I wanted to spend the day riding on Trident. Um, this video, like that, is going to sort of take us from Wolverhampton to near Birmingham Centre um, but this time it's not going to be primarily with National Express although for the sake of um, proving the point of this video we are going to be travelling on some National Express buses. The main point of this video is actually the famous or very very famous it used to be like um, independent operators that operate around the West Midlands. There used to be quite a lot of them back in the day um, quite a lot like Travel Express for example that used to run in competition with National Express in Birmingham Centre on some of the services like the 50 for example. However now um, it's quite reduced, they've introduced a new multi-operator multi ticket across the West Midlands um, that I think has killed a few off as well because obviously they all have to accept one another's tickets. Um, but there's still a few little independents lurking around. Um, so we're going to start our trek in Wolverhampton and slowly make our way around um, the rest of the West Midlands and um, hopefully ending with Discount Bus that is one of the last sort of original um, independent operators that hasn't upgraded the fleet still got a relatively old selection of buses and still operate in direct competition with National Express the other operators that we've got as well also do do that so we're going to be starting our video with Let's Go Travel on the 11 service I'm going to head round to the 11 stand now and we'll jump on our first bus so this is our first bus, our J8RJY on the 11 and as you can see the other 11, the National Express that does the exact same route is just in front so this leaves in about 6 minutes time. So we're leaving a few minutes early presumably to leave the National Express 11 behind so we're in front um, for the run up to the estate. We haven't got, unfortunately haven't got time to get all the way up to the housing estate However, we'll do about a 10 to 15 minute trip on this bus and then cross over and potentially get um, whichever one rocks up first, either one of these or the National Express 11 back into the city centre. So this 11 service is probably um, one of the best examples of a let's go route um, that the operating competition Let's go like quite a few of the op other operators that we're going to cover in this video do operate a few of these commercial services in competition with National Express as well as operating a few tendered services so a few services that they operate with actual funding um, that sort of keep them afloat as well as let's say that there's a day that they don't do as well on these and the main services that Let's Go compete on um, that are based in the Wolverhampton area is the 11 service this one that they cover fully in competition with National Express, they both cover the exact same length of the route and the one service, the one goes cross city in Wolverhampton but extends down to Dudley, the one service itself um, by West Midlands goes all the way down to Dudley, the Let's Go service only covers within the Wolverhampton city area so like the residential districts within the sort of urban city quarter. So they do that obviously to gain, a, to gain custom and things um, as you can see as well, we've got another one there. So I believe they have about three or four vehicles on this route and the Let's Go and National Express use roughly the same amount as well to sort of equal out um, vehicles on it and um, sort of Let's Go buses do tend to, with them being smaller nippy vehicles, as always used by independents, do tend to sort of nip in front of the longer Eclipses or longer E400 hybrids um, that West Midlands and National Express operate on this route. Thank you. 
So here we are at some random place north of Wolverhampton. We're about to cross over the road and we're going to get the National Express West Midlands 11 back because it is tracking as a trident. Um, and those of you who remember from the previous video or any other video that I do on YouTube will know how much I love tridents. So yeah, that was Let's Go Travel, who look like they're still legally trading as Travel Express. So here we are back in Wolverhampton and as you can see there's 65 there, another Let's Go Travel Express and an 11 that has just left and an 11 waiting to go on stand to run just in front of the National Express again. It's very very apparent round here that um, the Let's Go, especially on the 11, I don't know about the ones and things, do tend to leave a couple of minutes early so that they are just in front of the National Express 11 all the way into the city centre and out of it as well. Every single one that I passed, um, the Let's Go bus was just in front and the bus that we've just been on and um, the Let's Go E200 was just in front of it throughout the entire trip. It's now time for Bangor bus. Thank you. This 5.30 route that we're currently on takes about 15 minutes from Wolverhampton to Poolston bus station and the bus itself doesn't actually pick up from the bus station as you'll have seen that they didn't look like the bus station picks up around the corner on um, suitably named Bilston Street um, by the tram stop um, and picks outside basically what classes as Wolverhampton Police Station so it picks up outside there and takes about 15 minutes um, to get to Bilston bus station. Bangor bus vehicles um, like this one are they're relatively well presented, um, very very um, comfy all the suspension works but they do primarily use a fleet of solo SR buses and Enviro 200s. The routes they have as well um, are actually tend to be tendered routes or funded routes. So like this one for example um, goes around roads that um, National Express don't serve so this route is a unique route within itself and clearly um, is quite busy as a result of it. Um, so these run every 15 minutes um, and although they compete sort of on speed between Bilston and Wolverhampton against National Express, the route itself that it takes is fully independent from them, there's no direct competition um, and they sort of run to their, um, their own select route that I believe will probably get a little bit of a fund into it as well. Bangor Bus have started going towards this kind of tendered work um, in the past couple of years and they've got the 891 as well, the older Reva service from Telford to Wolverhampton and um, that goes through sort of Shropshire, South Staffordshire and the West Midlands so they run that as well on an hourly basis using two vehicles so routes like that is what Bangor Bus tend to aim at, not like um, Let's Go Travel Express that we've just been on that do only local direct competition services. So similar types of buses that they use here and a Bangor bus um, but for a very very different purpose.
Thank you. Thank you. So here we have at Bilston a new bus station for me. I've got two of them here. So one of the MX10s and an MX12. So after a much longer wait than expected, presumably there's missing buses, here is NK56 EPU on the 334, a Fanda travel dart. Thank you. So NK denotes that this is the next stagecoach North East vehicle. I believe they have about six of these, two Fandy of which only two are out today. So there's a little bit of waiting involved for this one because um, I think they're missing a diagram on this service. Also to note as well as we jumped on, um, it said the adult day saver um, for this route and the other route that they're in, that's the 37, is just two pounds. So for two pounds per day, you can use this route and the 37 that they operate. That is by far the cheapest day ticket I have seen on any UK bus service in a very, very long time. This one um, is clearly um, the bus of choice, very, very nice vehicle. I believe it used to be numbered 35173 when it was new to stagecoach in the North East. Um, and the other one on the other diagram is an ex first London Enviro 200. That means it'll be worth me popping back at some point in the future to get that. So now hopefully we're going to be on Dennis Start. We are also now jumping off. So jump off the bus and then wait for the one to West Brom. Thank you. So here we are at a place that recognises 79 going the other way, and the Wear 1 1 um, that will be making its way to West Brom, that I believe is due in a few minutes' time. So I thought to split up the journey to West Brom um, by jumping on the 47 route, primarily because it has a BU51 B7 on it. I didn't manage any of the B7 ALX 400s last time in the last video, so I thought I'd do one now. Right. So yeah, it's quite weird being on one of these um, ALX 400 bodied things that is a um, B7 rather than a trident, um, but I thought, why not, when the opportunity suffices, it makes about five minutes difference to West Brom and it's a change of scenery. So look, let's see how this one's like.
So we're now on 4966, one of the 74 branded vehicles, and on the run from West Bromwich. He usually goes all the way to, to Birmingham in the last video when we had a B7 Gemini in this. If you haven't already, do go and check that video out. It will be in the description below, seeing as this part of the run has kind of added on to that, even though this is a totally different video. But for this run, and we're only doing this over to the Soho Road, where we're going to connect onto the 11A service and the National, Exp the National Express West Midlands one to go down round the loop to then cross over and hopefully get the discount travel 11C in. As the 11C doesn't do the full orbit, it does about um, sort of three quarters of it and the section that we're going to be um, joining the orbit services on um, is the bit that it doesn't run on so we're going to catch it down a little bit to then hopefully get one of their discount travel darts up. I know which one I'm wanting, it's the one that I'm wanting as well um, that I've hopefully cross fingers linked onto. Potentially, um, if it is that bus, um, it does have a northeast theme like our last Dennis Dart did. So for you guys watching from the northeast, do stay tuned as it will be a vehicle that um, will hopefully um, give a little bit of hype off if it is the one um, that it is supposedly tracking as. So we're going to take that um, for about 10, probably about 15 minutes to run or so. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do the full loop. So it takes about an hour and a half, going on nearly two hours, depending on traffic. But for now, though, um, we're going to do this run up to the Soho Road, hopefully get something a bit decent on the 11A service, and then jump on our discount bus on the um, 11C. And then the bus itself that will take us to our next and final independent operator is B7TL4501. I did let an Enviro 400mmc go for this, so hopefully it's a good one. Okay. So here we go, our final independent of the day is discount bus with NK54NUB. It's only about 10 minutes from that we're going to get, but still, it's going to be alright. So yeah, you guessed it, this is an Exco North East vehicle, um, Express, um, sort of little discount travel is what we're on now, we're on Express travel earlier, and um, discount travel that we're on now, um, have about four vehicles, three out on a daily basis, and this was the one that interested me the most. So luckily it's worked out on the diagrams, so we've got this um, fun little trip, sort of about ten minutes up the road from where we've just come from. Thank you. Here we are at Summerfield Park and that was NK54 NUB so I'm going to wait for it to come back, back around again with a nice photo of it and then probably make my way um, into Birmingham. Quite cool as that's obviously as you can see an ex Gone Off East um, example. Gone Off East did have a number of darts and they did get rid of them because um, obviously they're all on standard and it's very very nice to see um, at least one still walking around on daily service. So as the dart we're on um, continues to make another loop round the anti-clockwise circular on the 11, we're jumping on this 82 um, for a trip into Birmingham Centre. So what I'll do now is I'll pass you into the studio for a little bit of a sum up of what we've been on today and anything else you may have missed. So to summarise this video and the main points as I've listed on your screen now. So as you could see in the video, it is predominantly darts, um, i.e. sort of Dennis darts or Enviro 200 darts. Obviously the Enviro 200 was a later version of the Dennis dart. 
um, all that kind of style vehicles use. Um, none of these independents that operate in the West Midlands use really big buses. I think the biggest vehicle that went on in this was that um, X Stagecoach Dart, and that's not even as long as um, those vehicles can be. They can be slightly longer as well. So they all use quite small vehicles, quite nippy vehicles, to um, sort of intertwine in between the National Express West Midlands um, services that use double deckers and are a little bit slower. All of the um, companies have incredibly cheap fares on offer um, for passengers who wish to travel with them. Bearing in mind that in the West Midlands, um, the um, National Express day ticket is £4. The multi-operator ticket that was valid on all the operators that we travelled on in this video, that's £4.20, so that's 20p more. For these um, operators to sort of make their way a little bit with their own fares, um, they have to charge very, very, very cheap um, cheap prices to sort of survive. I think the cheapest one that we noted in the video was Fandy Travel um, with their £2 adult day tickets, like something from the early 2000s, a day ticket um, for an operator just being just £2 for the adult. That was um, very, very um, striking. So I gave, gave an idea of um, why the West Midlands in sort of the bus operation side is very, very different to the rest of the UK. And then the third and final point, although I have mentioned it um, sort of with the points above, is the majority of the routes are direct um, sort of in competition. So the majority are, of the operators are direct competitors. That basically means that most of the routes that the independents run are either um, identical duplicates or incredibly similar services to what is operated in this case by National Express West Midlands. Although I believe the 34 as well um, has some sort of link with competition um, with Diamond Bus um, in the West Midlands, but predominantly it's all National Express. So most of the routes were direct competition. Um, I did notice that um, Bangor, um, Bangor Bus, um, that operate in Wolverhampton, um, do tend to focus on tender work or tend to focus on um, sort of Lincoln areas that aren't already served. But apart from Bangor Boss, that do tend to that tend to have found their little niche doing that in Wolverhampton, sort of operating down narrow roads and through tight estates. The other operators were very, very much direct competition, especially Discount Boss, and um, that I did leave to the very, very end of the video because I knew it'd be um, the coolest one to go on because it's like what you'd imagine the old West Midlands independents were like. I'm still using quite old darts and a very, very basic livery. Um, running a infrequent comp competing service alongside the National Express Middle National Express West Midlands service, I believe, is every seven to ten minutes, but still being popular. So it proves that these things still work. So anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was one I did quite enjoy filming. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. Unfortunately, independent operators aren't as big and as prominent as they were back in the day. Um, in the West Midlands, um, but it was a really, really fun video to watch, and I'll definitely be back in the future to sample the rest of the um, discount um, travel and in family travel and um, Dennis starts that they have on offer. If you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Please also send in your suggestions. I am doing quite a lot of focus in the West Midlands at the moment. I've had the opportunity um, to film a lot around there, sort of in the coming weeks and months. So if you have any video suggestions that you'd like to see, please do let me know in the comments below. There'll be a lot more content coming from that region. And um, Once again, though, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I really, really do hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.